Hi and welcome to another Vox Commando tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how to use Tasker and Auto Voice to send voice commands to Vox Commando. So instead of sending audio to Vox Commando like you would be with VoxWeb, you'll be using Google's speech recognition and, and we'll be sending text to Vox Commando. And if that text matches one of your voice commands, then that command will be executed. So generally, I recommend uh, if you're not already using Tasker that you should start with VoxWav. It actually is uh, going to provide much better results for most people. But I have had people ask how they could use Tasker. And so uh, if you're already using Tasker and this is something you want to do, then we'll show you how to do it. We've also created a pretty straightforward tutorial on the wiki which we'll be following. So if you prefer to use the text version then uh, you can look in the description of this video for a link to that wiki page. So the first thing you need to do before you start is to have three apps installed on your Android device. The, obviously Tasker, you'll need the pro version of Auto Voice, which does the voice recognition, and you'll also want to have the UDP Sender application, which is a free application. So we'll get started now. Um, the first thing we need to do is to create a profile. But you want to make sure you're on the Profiles tab and then click the plus button at the bottom right of the screen to create a new profile. And the type of profile that we want is a state profile. So click that and in this case the state is going to be generated by Auto Voice, which is a plugin. So we will click plugin and then select Auto Voice. And the type of state that we want is recognized. So anytime that speech is recognized, it will generate this state. Okay, now we want to click Configuration. Now we don't actually need to change anything in this configuration, but you do need to open it and then click the check mark. While I'm here, I should point out though that you do have the option of using a command filter. And so if you want to use a word at the beginning of your command, such as uh, the, uh, Jarvis or whatever name you want to use for your computer, you can enter that in the command filter. And then only commands that start with that word will be sent to Tasker and then onto Box Command. I'm going to leave this blank so that any Thing that's recognized will be sent no matter what. So we just need to click the checkbox and we'll be taken back to Tasker. And we're done with the uh, editing of the state. So we can go back by clicking at the top left. So we've created our state. Now we're being prompted to add a new task. Now I have one here already, but uh, obviously uh, it makes more sense for us to create a new one so that we can show you how it's done. So you can name this anything that you want. Uh, we'll call this one um, AV2VC. So now we need to create our actions. First off, we're going to do a single action macro that's very easy. And uh, after that, I'll show you how to do a more sophisticated one that actually will give us slightly better recognition results. So we want to click plus to add our action. And here's where we use the UDP sender plugin in order to send the recognized text to Vox Commando. So you click on plugin and then UDP sender. So we need to configure this. And here you would either enter the IP address of the computer running Vox Commando, or uh, if you want, you can just broadcast to your entire network by entering this IP. By default, Vox Commando always has a UDP listener, and it uses port 33,000. So by using this method, you don't actually need to configure anything on Vox Commando at all. You just need to have Vox Commando running and this should work. 
Now in the text, this is the actual string that we're going to send to Vox Commando. So we start with our action, which is vc.tellbox, and a double ampersands. Now we need to enter the variable that we are getting back from auto voice. And there are a number of variables that you can choose from, but the one we're going to use for this is avcom no filter. So the percent sign is a uh, tasker's way of uh, indicating that we're going to be using a variable, and then the name of this variable is avcom no filter. So just be careful because there are similar variables. Uh, such as avcoms no filter with brackets at the end. Uh, this also gives back the recognized text, but this would give us all of the different possible interpretations of what we said. So you may have five or six different things that are coming back there, and those would be separated by commas. Telvox won't understand that if it gets everything at once. So you want to, if you use this method, you want to make sure that you use avcom singular no filter. And the no filter refers to the the filter setting in auto voice. If you had put in Jarvis as a filter, it'll remove Jarvis from the string that's being passed to Vox Commando. If you don't use a filter, then this variable will still work fine. So this is the way to go. So click done. And now you are actually done. You can just back out of Tasker and uh, fire up auto voice, uh, turn it on so that it's listening however you want. And that's it. So now I will show you how to modify that macro instead of using the one action. We're back to the profiles page. We can just click on the AV to VC in order to edit that. So we'll start by, um, if I long click on this, I can delete it, I think, by hitting cut. Now I uh, use the plus to create a new action. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take that variable that had all of the different interpretations, we're going to change it into a format that Vox Commando can use. And Vox will go through them until it finds a match. So we'll still start with the most likely one, but it'll match against them one at a time until it gets a hit based on the phrases you have defined in Vox Commando. So we want to use variables first. We want to set our own variable so that we can manipulate it. So we're going to go to variable set, and here we name, uh, we create a variable and name it what we want. So I'll, I'll put in vcmsg to stand for vc message, and we want to set it to the value of the avcoms no filter variable. So we put percent avcoms no filter with brackets. This gives us everything in a comma separated list. So we're finished here, we click at the top left, and we create another action by pressing plus. This action will be where we change the commas into ampersands. So it's also a variable action, but now we want to do um, search replace. So we're searching for commas and replacing them with double ampersands. So first we need to specify which variable we're modifying, and that would be our VC MSG variable. Um, the reason we're having to use our own variable is that the, I think the variable that comes back from Tasker, we can't actually modify that ourselves, so we had to first put it into our own before we could modify it. So we're searching for a comma, and then down below uh, where it says replace matches, we want to put a checkbox on the right. And then tell it that we want to replace it with double ampersands. I'll just ignore all of the other stuff on this page. And then again, we click at the top left to go back to our macro. So now our variable is good, and we just have to use the UDP sender plugin to set it to box commando. So again, we click plus, and now we choose plugin, UDP sender, and we will have to enter this configuration again. And again, we'll use the, all the 255s and the port 33000. 
So we start again with an action, but this time we're using a special action specifically for parsing these multiple possible strings. Uh, so we start with um, android.phrases. That's a vox commando action. And double ampersand, and then our variable, which is percent vcmsg. And we are now done. We have our more fancy command. And all we need to do is, again, back out of Tasker and fire up auto voice, and we're good to go. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the forum.